What's up? So in this video, what I've done here is, you know, from the install of the catch can, I leaned up against this very small fitting here and broke it. Uh, it has been super glued. Uh, it's holding up okay, but I know that's not going to last forever. I checked on another one of these factory tubes. It's nearly $300 from Ford. If it's not on back order, there's none nationwide when they check. Uh, so I actually went through the the whole thing of buying one from somebody and it wound up being a 21 it had to blow off valve tube this is a 2022 model so it doesn't have the blow off valve on it and we'll i'll show you the differences between those here in just a moment so i did wind up buying one from someone else that has a 2022 so now i'm going to take this off so first thing i'm going to get all this stuff out of the way here i don't believe y'all really need an instructional video on exactly how to take some of the stuff off. So let me get this out of the way. Okay, so one thing I'd like to talk about is this clamp down here that's on the turbo inlet. Um, I know a lot of people have had trouble with this clamp uh, and they've said that they've went out and bought a special tool to get it off and make it easy, which if you have the money to go spend, I think it was 35 bucks or so on that tool, then fine. And I realized to some people, hey, if you just bought an intake or whatever, then you shouldn't be tripping about a $30 or $40 tool. But I've been in the position where I've scrimped and saved to get that three, four, five hundred dollar $500 intake or whatever part it was and couldn't afford to go out and buy this tool just to install it. Uh, so, I mean, I, I can definitely sympathize with somebody that's in that position. And folks like to make fun and talk smack and where I can go buy the tool now, I haven't always been in that position, so I know how it is. So what I'm gonna do is try my best to show you how to get this off just using an old pair of channel locks and back on using this pair of channel locks. All right, so this may be difficult to get on film so you can see, but if you just take your channel locks here and get it worked over this. And the problem with filming is that I may need to be where the camera's at. got it off. So let's get over here to bench and I'll show you. So to get this back on, what you're going to have to do is get everything positioned good. Get this clamp pushed down. Get my other piece. you need to be on the edge of this clamp. All right. So this is what I did to get this, this back on. All right, see I have it compressed. I took tie routes and I'll show this in a second going on with the new one and put tie wraps around this fully compressed and put three, about three or four tie wraps on it and it holds these pliers and it'll hold this thing compressed for you. And it holds it in the shape of the tube like this. So then you have to be careful and get this down in there and get the tube pushed on. And once you get the tube pushed all the way on, you just hold a little bit of pressure on the back of the tube and cut your tie wraps and this thing goes back and clamps down. All right. So the difference is this is the 2022 
and this is the 20 and 21 early models. You see, you got the blow off valve on it, and the 2022 doesn't have a blow off valve. The Venturi is a little bit different. You can see the differences. This is 2022, this is 2020, early 2021. Get these closer just to make sure I got them in the frame here. The differences 2022, 2021, and 2020. Okay, there's a little bit of differences. You can see I super glued mine, so you know this is a 2022 model. But the Venturi is a little bit different in, in the way that it's designed. And then inside the pipe, let me turn the light on on this phone. So this is the 2022, the one that come off my car. See the pipe is clean and smooth on the inside. And the one for the 2020, early 2021 that has the blow off valve, it's got this mesh screen that's inside the pipe. Um, so also the fin design on those fins right here seem to be a little smaller and more turning on the 2022. So just a couple small differences, leave it up the four to change a couple little things, but I want it to go with the one that's made for the 2022s instead of trying to, you know, just cap off this one and make it work. So I've got it, should be here tomorrow, and then you'll pick up the video of me putting that one on. Uh, then we're going to look at, I ordered the fittings for the uh, two different intakes that are made that this fitting is for. And I'm going to try to drill and tap this because this is pretty thick plastic and it's plastic welded on. If I can drill and tap the factory one and put the metal one in there, then that's going to be a viable fix for under 20 bucks uh, from either Brett at FinFab or was it AWE or AFE Racing that makes the other uh, the other intake for the car. So this right here is the new one, as you can see, got it in the mail. Uh, this is what I'm talking about with the pliers, how I've got them on here. And they're angled in the same direction as the pipe. I got two good tie wraps. If you got crappy tie wraps, you might need more than two, but it's in the same direction here and we should be able to get this in. I've done it once before and then we'll cut the tie straps out to release the clamp. Just make sure your clamp, like this is tilted because of the way it's sitting. Just make sure that you get it pushed down and in the way it's supposed to be here, the way everything sets up. It's got little grooves that the rubber parts go into on the clamp itself. So it should keep it pretty straight. You just wanna make sure that once you get on that straight before you cut these right here. So I'm gonna go over here and get it on the car. I'm not gonna bother filming, uh, but it goes on much the same. Once you get it on there, you have to be very gentle, rocking it back and forth until it's all the way seated onto the front of the turbo and make sure it's seated. And then you'll hold on the back here and get it pushed up and then cut these straps and release the clamp there. Make sure it's all good. Okay, so one thing I want to make sure everybody saw is once you get it pushed on there, and you see it's just about seated up, just as flush as it can, can possibly get, you want to make sure that this is pushed over enough that you can have it lined up the way it'll slip on there. Because if you have the tube cocked all the way this way, when you release this clamp, you're not gonna be able to twist this tube to get it to line up. So make sure everything's about lined up where it needs to be before you cut the tie straps off of the back of these pliers right here. But this is what it looks like right now. All right, there she is back installed. If you can see it down there, clamps on, everything's good up top. And she's ready to go. Now we can move on to modifying this one on the bench here. We'll move some of the stuff. So what I did here was I contacted the two companies that are popular uh, that make intakes, AWE and FinFab, for the 2020 to 2022 right now Ford Explorer ST. And I asked them for the fitting that they have on their intake to, for the hose that this plugs into. So this is what I got. I got this from AWE, which looks awesome. And then I got this, I don't know. I got this from uh, FinFab and 
It just doesn't look as good to me. And this is a big, I don't know. Anyway, this right here seems like a perf purposefully built piece just for them. And this is kind of what it looks like in the picture for FinFab, but this is what he sent me. So I don't know if he just sent me an older model that they're not using or what. But anyway, I'm gonna try to use this one first. And what I'm gonna do is try to find a good fix for this. Since this was so easy for me to snap off, I mean, it wasn't much harder than that before it broke. So. so since this is small and fine threads on this piece right here, oh, this, this is metal, that's probably aluminum. It kind of feels like plastic. It's very, very light, so it has to be aluminum. So the threads on this is not much bigger around than the actual tube itself. So I'm gonna start with the smallest one. And this, of course, is the extra intake tube. I think what I'm gonna start off with here is this little chamfer bit. And I'm just trying something out here to, to maybe get a viable fix, a fix for someone else that may do this because it was not very difficult to break. I'm gonna try to flatten this out a little. light in here. I want this as flat as I can get it. So I'm just going to shave this down here. And it's probably a little more difficult for me because I got all this super glue around here where I had to glue it back on to have a vehicle. Got it kind of flat. That's about the size of what that outer is. So what I'm gonna do is change up to this step bit here and just try to step it up little by little. So just be careful these step bits because they cut fast. like it's got good surface too. It's nice and thick, so it should be able to thread kind of easy. Oh, that's about right. Okay. So let's get this light in here. So as you can hopefully tell, this will go in there and it just barely fits in. This is a, a chamfer style, so it, it should thread down in here. So what I'm going to do is probably put a little warmth on this and then thread it in there. So let me get my heat gun. So before I start heating anything up, I'm gonna find out what size this is. So I can have it ready. So what I got here was, this is a 16 millimeter socket and it's a, uh, like a mid, they call them shallow. I got them a long time ago, but it's just fitting it to where I can get it on there decently. Cause all I'm gonna do is kind of just heat this up just a little bit. I don't want it hot, hot. I just want it warm.
probably do better with a wrench. Let's see. All right, so what I got here was just a 16 millimeter wrench. And I'm not gonna get this really, really hot. I just want it kind of warm. Probably the hole a little bit more than this piece since I'm holding this piece. Oh, it should be decent. And then a little bit of pressure here. And because that step bit isn't like a regular drill bit, then it, this hole should get a little tighter as it goes down. All right, that's got it all the way down and it's, it's tight. And then this ain't gonna break. That's made out of metal. So that's perfect. And you can't really see it from the inside, but this was a pretty thick piece. So this being down like that must be perfect. And it's, it's fairly tight in there too. I don't even think it needs thread sealer, but what I'll go ahead and do, this will be my backup too for my 2022. So what I'm gonna do is just remove this and I've got some uh, thread seal. I'll put some thread seal on it just in case and push it back down in there. And this will be 100% perfect. And if you were thinking it really didn't cut threads into this plastic, You can see the threads now. It definitely cut threads into this plastic. So it's threaded in. All right, there you have it. There's the broken plastic piece. This right here is the upgraded piece. You have to snap this whole piece out of this intake to get that one off. So that's sturdy. That one ain't going anywhere. And it was just a straight through. It's nice and thick right there. Easy to do. The step bit's the way to go. That skinny step bit because it made it a tighter hole as you go down. So where it got it to where this would barely fit in there, I was able to just put a little warmth on it. I wasn't trying to heat it up and burn in threads. You don't want to melt it, but you want it warm enough to where it's not just cold plastic. It makes it a little easier to thread. Just push it in there and put a little bit of pressure downward and start twisting it on and get it threaded in there. And I just... Put a little sealant on it. You can't really see it, but it's bulging out. I just put clear silicone on there and that's a permanent fix for anybody. I think this fitting costs like $15 from AWE shipped to my house. So not bad at all. Well, that's the end of another great video. I thank everybody for watching. Uh, if this happens to your intake tube, this right here is how to fix it. If you found this video and you know of somebody that might need this information to get this thing fixed, this is a great option. This thing is 300 bucks and they don't have any nationally. So this might be your only option other than spending, you know, five to $800, $900 on an intake. This is a good option. So thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Until next time, Night's Garage, I'm out.